Did you know? We have published an eTabs course with a complete 20-story building design. The course will include complete guide to eTabs, from basics to advanced level with a completion certificate. Check link in description of this video. In this lecture, we will learn the design of steel columns base plate. Here we are considering the columns base is pinned. So we are designing a pin based column. So we will only be designing the base plate for ad axial forces. So I have opened RAM connections and I will be using E tabs to extract the forces in the structural member as RAM connection software only deals with the design of connection. You can calculate the forces manually or any way you like or any other software. We just have to provide the input to the RAM connections of the forces and the member sizes and material properties. So I have defined the column section as per my structural configuration of the superstructure. I'll be editing this connection by starting with add live loads wind loads and the seismic loads as we have these loads in the structure the steel structure was designed for these loads and similarly will the connections be designed for the same loads now let's proceed with e tabs in e tabs we have load patterns defined as dead live super dead wind in x wind in y and earthquake in x y but therefore I'll have to consider dead load total since super dead and dead are defined individually in E tabs. So I have made a combination already for the total dead load as I'll be requiring this input for design of connections. So I've already defined the total dead load and I'll be first extracting the actual force results from E tabs and then taking those results to RAM connections. So I'll be adding the loads. These loads are defined from the load cases in RAM connections. Now the force I have seen from the E-tabs is compressive force as it shows a negative sign. So a minus sign will come and make sure the units is set in KIPS in RAM connections and in E-tabs as well or have any software you use for extracting the forces in the member. Now similarly the live load the wind load axial force for the wind load in x direction It's a compressive force, so minus sign. The axial force in y direction due to wind. I mean, similarly, earthquake in x direction. the compressive earthquake force and earthquake in y direction surprisingly it's a tension force even if we took both compressive or tensile forces for earthquake still the combinations would be generated such that once the earthquake is subtracted and once it is added so the base is pinned therefore we are getting zero flexural or moments at the pin support so the base plate has to be designed for pin
the steel column base plate material and other things were already defined now i'll be defining the shear force for the column base plate design in the ram connections Similarly, earthquake in x direction, shear force due to earthquake in x direction, and then earthquake force in the column base due to earthquake in y direction, shear force in the minor direction, first of all total dead load. It's a very nominal force, but we'll have to incorporate it. Let's go with the live load force. We are concerned with the base of the column. So we are looking the forces at the base. Usually the shear force and the axial force are uniform. If there was flexure, it is non-uniform or linearly varying. So we have to look at the forces in the base of the column where actually our base connection or the base plate connection would be forming. Let's generate the automatic combinations and click on OK. Since we are dealing with the pin base plate, so we'll be assigning the smart pin base connection. So the software has automatically assigned a footing to it, but basically we'll need a pedestal column. Let's see how we add a pedestal column and other configurations to the base plate and design it. Right now the stress ratio is 0.9 and in a yellow color. The yellow color means that the connection is not complying with one or more checks of the code. However, the stress is less than one so it is okay but still we have to comply with the code provisions to make it green color red color is for failure so a yellow colored point 0.9 means that we are not complying with one of the code checks let's select the anchor steel material as a36 and check other parameters i include seismic provisions in it as the structure is in seismic provision d seismic zone d So I'll increase the dimensions of the plate as apparently it's clear that the bolts are going inside the column. So we have to adjust them. We can adjust the rows number but I think 4 bolts are more than enough as there are small forces. 
and if we increase the number of folds we'll have to increase the number of plate so i'll stick to the simplest base plate design the thickness of the pedestal so now we can vary the plate dimensions let's assign the bolt as L bolt usually they form a better connection as we are using the precast concrete so I prefer personally prefer the L type bolts we can optimize the base plate it usually makes the plate thicker and tries to make the plate to comply with the checks as we can clearly see the bolts are going inside the column so I'll try to increase the plate size so that the bolts are at a certain at least one inch distance from the column as it would not be practically possible on side to tie them using a wrench Let's first adjust the bolt diameter. I think 5 by 8 inches is just fine as we are on the stress ratio of 0.9. Let's increase the plate size. So apparently increasing plate size is not working. I have optimized it which in turn increase the thickness and maintain a rectangular aspect ratio so the two inches spacing between the edges is working and again click on optimize so it increase the bolt diameter however i think five weight is sufficient enough okay five weight so let's check the results what actually we are not complying with the test the anchor design is governed by the sheer steel strength as per ACI code it's a seismic provision for the concrete pedestal as ACI code is American Concrete Institute and primarily is concerned with the concrete so let's try increasing the effective embedment length if it works let's try varying other parameters in order to pass the check let's try a307 american standard bolts optimizing them and still we are having a yellow color of the stress ratio as 0.76 the yellow color shows we are failing to comply with one or more code provisions for the connection we can also add stiffener plates to the connection but here it's not helping us with the situation still we are getting the error anchor design strength is governed by 
etc etc which is a seismic provision and revising the dimensions of the concrete and other things does not really work here so we'll have to go to aci code to pass this check which is not our intention basically so if we uncheck the seismic provisions for the seismic design category d we are fine the stress ratio turns green but let's try solving the issue if it's not working then still we have to stick with the seismic provision and go to aci code if you are designing the connection for the project you must have to see the aci code provisions for the project but i can uncheck it here for demonstration purposes and as we have successfully designed the connection the con same connection would have worked if it would have been seismic design category b or c for de detailed information you have to visit aci code provision as mentioned by the report in the ram connection we can also export these drawings generated by ram connection to autocad subscribe for more please like share and subscribe thank you